All right, guys, so I just finished um, my first shift by myself here at the um, at my first travel assignment. Um, I'm in Martinsburg right now. I had to stop and get gas, so sheets was shining bright from the road, so I pulled over. It's just two exits down, two exits down from the hospital, and it's actually in like the city or the town. Um, where we're gonna be staying when we get rooms and everything. So I finished that shift and I could see where um, travelers kind of get thrown to the wolves. And I understand why, like, because they need you to like learn and go, like pick it up and go because you're there to fill holes. I, I think my shift went well. I precepted, but pretty much on my own. So pros of last night was that I'm an intermediate level nurse, so I've going on five years um, and I feel like that's fair to say I mean I'm still learning every day I don't know everything but I'm also like comfortable with my skill set I'm comfortable with like delegation I'm just comfortable in my nursing practice now um, so I feel like that benefit you know that helped me um, they use Epic, which is a system that we, Kayla and I, had used at the old hospital. So that was okay. Now, it is nothing like the Epic that we used at the old hospital, but at least I knew and could understand how to navigate through it. Like, there was a lot of similarities compared to the old hospital, but then they, I, then there was like things I had never seen before and I was like what and like they document certain things that we've never documented before and you know so there's some things that are, are brand spanking new um I really had to like just kind of wing it with the IV pump like that thing I just I just don't know but I mean once I got to messing with it because like when I was hanging an IV, my preceptor had to go to a rapid response team um, alert down the hall. So here I'm trying to give this IV antibiotic and don't know how to program it. So luckily by hitting buttons and crossing my fingers and <laughs> praying to the gods that this would work out, I finally figured it out. It was really, it's fairly easy. So I'm hoping that I can get a hold of Kayla to tell her like how fairly easy it is um so yeah my my comfort and my skill set uh already knowing a little bit about epic and kind of just you know being able to ask like please don't ever be afraid to ask like I thought about it you know like gosh I kept saying like at different times throughout the night I was like I'm really sorry that you're precepting you know like I know it sucks to precept and blah 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 but then you know what I think about it and it's like no I, I shouldn't be apologizing for asking all these questions like you should never feel sorry for asking all those questions first off no one is too good to answer a question, okay? And no question is a stupid question. The cons were is that there's just people that rub me wrong. And I don't know, like, I'm pretty good with first impressions. Like, there was this one really young girl. She just was, like, really snooty, kind of. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm probably old enough to be your mother, and you're just, like, so rude. <laughs> so anyway look at my eyes i am starting to get really sleepy i probably should shut up and get up the road i'm sure i'll think more about um the things so yeah as i think about it
nice for once compared to like six or seven. Um, my preceptor was okay. I had to take my hair down. I'm starting to get a headache, so y'all, it is. <laughs> this is my hair, everybody. But um, yeah, so my preceptor was pretty cool. Um, she had been on that unit for like 17 years or something, so she's like a way experienced nurse. Um, she's a little snarky and sarcastic, but I think, you know, she did good considering. I know like when she first came to work, I introduced myself, um, not thinking that she would be Jennifer, but I was in the break room and I was like, hey, and she's like, hi. And she kind of like did the look me up and down thing, and I knew right then and there, I was like, are you Jennifer? And she was like, yeah. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I said, my name's Mary. I'm precepting with you. And she's like, yeah. And she started talking to, like, another girl who came in the room. And she was, like, dropping the F-bombs. And she's like, I'm really sorry. I say the F word a lot. And I just, like, got hearts in my eyes. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I told her. I was like, we're going to be best friends. And, um, yeah, she gave me the group of people I did need. I did need her to give blood for me because like just the way that the system is for me to get into the Mars and into the Omnicell and just all the things that are new for me, it took me a minute. So I truly appreciated her help um, doing that because I, I did get an admission. Their admission process is really different than what our, like pretty much there's a lot of things that they don't do that I'm used to doing and I almost feel like I do I almost feel like we did too much at my old hospital but then that tells me that tells me that the care and quality that you get at my old hospital is like superb you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that this hospital isn't but but each hospital is different so I just there were certain like things um like they have lab people like there's lab phlebotomists that come up and get your labs for you um the techs they get all the weights and vitals like all p4s and they're responsible for the i's and o's and like you just have to get onto them like hey you need to document i's and o's like it's just weird and i'm not saying anything bad about their techs and i'm not ever saying anything bad about the techs that I worked with at my previous hospital because they really worked their ass off. I'm not even gonna lie, like there's some hard working people and these techs here were really, really good. Um yeah. I ended up getting that crazy old lady who um was with the dementia lady with the behavior disturbances, she went to bed around ten or ten. 10 or 11 I'm not sure but she did get asleep at some point and then was up up at 1 up at 1 so she went to bed um, and then she was up like at 1 and she was just up all night all night all night and poor thing like she was pleasant like she was pleasantly confused so but like she was just a handful she was just a handful because she couldn't get anything done so I did have her out of my group um, I had a blood transfusion, so with anemia. I had another lady with anemia, and she was, like, both my anemic patients were having GI consults. Um, I had a patient that, uh, had to have, like, an ethics, um, consult because this person's ready for discharge, and knowing there's where is he going you know what I'm saying family can't take him nursing homes can't t like it's just a cluster of everything for that poor guy um so that was that guy and then what else happened I had two anemia oh I had wounds too I like I had like you could stick your whole hand in this one person's wound I mean literally that's how I packed it I just took like the and just went like that with it. It was gnarly. And then the, the second wound person, um, they, they cussed me twice. So I got cussed out twice yesterday, but that's nothing new because 
um, excuse my language, but as everybody who I have worked with ever knows that I must be the queen of fuckery. So that happened and I was just like, oh, and like the nurses were listening to this guy cuss me out in the hallway and I come out of the room and they're just looking at me and I was like, what? I was like, oh, by the way, my name is Joanne and, uh, well, they know me as Mary. I said, oh, by the way, my name is Mary and I bring the shit show. So they laughed about that, but yeah, it was a good night. Five patients. I feel confident that on Friday when I go, I can at least look up my patients and get like started. I did everything by the book because they do everything by the brain. And at my previous hospital, I never went by the brain. I hated the brain, but here it seems like that's what they live off of. I, I don't know why. I think it's a cluster of you know what and it just, yeah, I can't, I can't, but I'm doing it because that's what travel nursing is about. You have to be able to go a change. You have to be able to um, have confidence, go quickly, and, and help out. So that was that. Oh, and then the shift ended, not for me, but the shift ended for um, the nurse, another nurse, right literally at 645. They did a rapid response team. And that was like our, my old hospital's version of a medical response team. So then I found out, like I was telling the oncoming nurse when I was giving her report, I was like, yeah, I was like, they did a MERT on a patient. And she's like, oh, MERT? And I was like, yeah, MERT. And she was like, well, that's usually us, like a family member or a staff member that needs immediate attention. And I was like, I don't know. But anyway, it's just so different and like, I know they probably got really tired. I think I think that's something I have to remember to not like, I'm almost wondering like, cause throughout the night I was just like, man, you know, like this stuff is just so different, you know, and like my old hospital this, my old hospital that. And I kind of wonder if there was like some people, especially that young snooty girl when I was like, I've never worked with these IV poles, these pumps, like, ever. She was kind of snooty, but I also think that, like, maybe just because, you know, when you work somewhere and you like where you work and you're proud of your work, your environment, your co-workers, you know, when you have an outsider coming in, um, and kind of saying stuff like that, like, I wasn't being, like, rude or anything. I definitely was, like, not trying to be, like, oh my gosh, this equipment that I have to work with, you know, nothing like that. But I was just like, gosh, you know, like, I'm just so not used to this stuff. You're like, thanks for your patience, you know, like, I'm going to get it. It's just something I'm not used to, blah, blah, blah. But I think people don't want to hear that, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I just, I just think that some people, are you going to take over the lane, dude? Oh, you guys, I just can't wait. I had to take my hair down. I had to, look at all this fuzzy stuff. I had to take my hair down. I'm starting to get a headache. My eyes are starting to look all like crazy looking. Oh, I thought that was an old man there for a second. Um, but yeah, uh, other things that were good about that shift was, um, like I said in the past, pros and cons. I have I have confidence. I'm comfortable with my nursing skill sets. I asked questions. And I already knew the, um, I already knew like say 75% of the computer system. So, you know, theirs was a little different than what I was used to, but I, I pretty much was able to just get in the Omni cell where the drugs were held, um, was easy to catch on to. That was something that I had actually, um, messed with while I was in nursing school doing clinicals over at UVA and, um, so that was easy to catch on. So yeah, like there was a lot more pros than there were cons. You know, cons is just trying to remember where the kitchen is, where the supply room is, where supplies are in the supply room. And you know, like having to, having that computer in the room with both patients and like having multiple patients, you know, like just two bed patient rooms. Like that's weird because I'm with one lady trying to do her dressing change and the lady is talking through the curtain like hey 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 I need to go to the bathroom can you take me to the bathroom and it's like okay like I'm busy 
and I'm never believe me I'm never not too like I'm never too good to like not take someone to the bathroom like I was a tech for four years or five years I was a tech for five years so I definitely know how to wipe ass okay and uh, help people out like that's that's not even a problem sometimes that's just like my favorite thing to do like when um, staffing calls and it's like hey we don't have a tech tonight you want to do a tech work hell yeah I'll do tech work because that's just so much like le less responsibility like you know you can be like yeah and if you want to be like a good you know co-worker if they're like hey I'm in pain you know being a nurse you can be like hey so and so like your patient so and so is, is in pain you want me to give pain meds you know like that's just like nurse courtesy um, when you're helping out at, like when you're a tech and you're helping out and you can do that because nurses you know we all know we're just so damn busy um so yeah anyway i'm home i'm getting ready to pull into the driveway i made it i made it home my eyes are on fire uh my head you know had the whole bun thing going on for like hours now even before you figure i had to drive an hour and a half there all night long and then an hour and a half you know my my head needed to get out of that bun so sorry not sorry that I look like this but yeah yeah it was a good shift and um I'm gonna once I get in the house I'm gonna get situated play with my pups for a second get these dang sneakers off me get out of these clothes uh wash up a little bit and I'll probably call Kayla before I fall asleep because I'm sure she's wanting to know before her shift tonight how things went and hopefully my tips can um you know, my input can help her night go smoothly as well. But I, I'm pretty confident that she'll do just fine because I told my preceptor um, about Kayla and she's like, oh yeah, I have her tonight. I already told her about Kayla and you know, she, she, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It just sucks that we're not working together because seriously, like I always enjoy like people like, I liked my night shift crew. Like there was people that you could trust and, um, yeah, there was, like, two or three people that I knew I could just totally downright, like, say all the things and get everything out and feel, like, trusted, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be hard because here, I'm the outsider. Like, people were having conversation at the nurse's station, and I was just, like, you know, they were very nice to me. And I was, like, hey, guys, you know, and they were, like, well, how long are you going to be here? And I was, like, 13 weeks, and they were like oh and you know they're just kind of like you don't know if they think that's a good thing or a bad thing do you get what I'm saying like and honestly it's like I don't care <laughs> you know what I mean I don't care as long as I don't like lose my contract over something stupid I don't care if you like me or not but um it is nice to have like you know companionship as far as like a nurse buddy so I was missing Kayla you know and even at our old job when she was working you know I would go over to the other hall if we weren't working on the same you know side together I'd go over there or I would you know just talk to her in the med room and be like man this is such blah 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 you know it's just nice to have that and I don't have that I didn't have that last night I mean my preceptor I just told her because she was like how you doing you hanging in there are you stressed out overloaded blah 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 I said no I was like I'm doing good for, my, for a first time traveler with my first assignment at a hospital that I don't know nothing about like you know I said it is what it is and that's how it's going to be so I'm I'm fine and I think she was like like that because I don't know I'm sure like for for um I mean I just know like being like a staff nurse if there was new new people and they seemed frustrated you know it almost made you wonder like are they gonna make it you know what I mean but yeah I just straight up told her I was like this this is the typical this is my typical shift I mean nothing nothing was different as far as personalities patient care patient lib like that kind of thing all those patients are patients that I'm used to their personalities like that guy cussing me out twice I mean I'm used to that like don't bother me none <laughs> I just told her I was like yeah the fuckery it's like weird to say I'm a traveler you know what I'm saying because like you've I've always heard other nurses saying oh yeah I'm a traveler or hearing nurses say oh yeah we're getting a traveler but to be the traveler like on that other side like I don't know if you guys remember me saying like 
I think in my last shift video that I do things like in my career because I always want to know the 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 hows and whys so like now I'm like how is it to be a traveler you know what I mean and like why so that process that brain process of mine is like happening and I'm seeing the other side of things and even though it was just one shift in my first assignment like I'm just starting to see like you know as time goes on and the more experience I get and the more contracts I get um yeah I'm sure that will all get put in the back of my mind and probably look for other things to do but um anyway yeah I'm gonna say it for the third time I'm going in I'm gonna settle in get cleaned up and uh spend some time with my pups and call Kayla if you like my content and you like um what I do or anything like that and you want to see more nursing content you know please put a comment below and say like what you'd like me to um, touch base on uh, like my channel subscribe consider subscribing I do truly appreciate you guys that do um, watch my watch my stuff I am greatly uh, appreciative of it grateful for your time so yeah guys thank you again so much I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all have a great day, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.